Since the dawn of time, humankind have looked up to the clear night skies above and pondered the vast expanse of space. The twinkling of stars have certainly captivated the imagination and driven astronomers to look deeper, spawning new questions of our existence and place in the universe. With each leap in technology, we are more capable than ever to look deeper at the celestial wonders of the sky. Adaptive optics is providing a valuable tool for astronomers to tame the twinkling effects of the turbulent atmosphere and perfect the optics of enormous telescopes. The purpose of adaptive optics is to try and remove the distortion. And the way that it uh, accomplishes that is by um, sensing the degree of aberration or the degree of distortion of the light wave in real time and adapt for that distortion of the light wave using um, optical elements called the formable mirrors. Here at the University of Victoria, we are attempting to correct for more than one layer of turbulence independently of each other. In order to develop the system, we are creating a simulated environment that tests the operation of our adaptive optic system. What we are doing here we are playing with the hot air and the cold air and as we change the temperature we can get several layers of different um, strength of turbulence. A turbulence generator capable of realistically simulating the effects of Earth's atmosphere is put in the path of the laser beam. The laser's column of light is distorted by the turbulence generator then sent through the adaptive optic system. The adaptive optic system has um, <coughs> eyes, which are the wavefront sensors, and it has a brain, which is the computer and control algorithm, <clears throat> and it has hands, which actuate the change, and these are the deformable mirrors and the tip-tilt mirrors in the system. And all three elements combine and interact to remove the effects of the, uh, the, of the turbulence in the atmosphere. The adaptive optic system's eyes are the wavefront sensing digital cameras. The cameras capture frames of light at more than 500 frames per second and deliver the current state of the wavefront shape to the computer system. The camera contains a thin film called a Shack-Hartman lens lit array that transforms the light into a grid of spots. Each spot describes how far out of alignment each portion of the light beam is from normal, thus giving a sense of wavefront shape. In order to interpret the camera's image data, a blazing 2.45 GHz Pentium 4 computer system is used to calculate wavefront shape. The tip tilt mirror is a piezo-actuated mirror surface, whose job is to center the overall beam into the middle of the deformable mirror. Finer manipulation of the wavefront shape is performed by the deformable mirror. This is a 140 actuator MEMS chip driven by 140 independently controlled high voltage supplies. The chip is produced using normal silicon fabrication techniques, but instead of processing logic like computers, the chip physically moves and deforms its own mirror surface. The brain of an adaptive optic system demands a lot of software, both in testing and actual operation. The software we have developed for the AO project include Focus Finder, a program for analyzing video data gathered by the wavefront sensing cameras. This program helps us calibrate the sensors and optimize the optical path to produce clear spot data. Several deformable mirror driver tests were developed to verify the capability of our drive electronics. Various shapes are demonstrated here, which are actually shapes that adjust focus, tip and tilt, and astigmatism, all within the confines of the deformable mirror. The LED display was developed to visualize the active state of the mirror, without having to look directly at the mirror, which has greatly improved our ability to diagnose the deformable mirror hardware. The spot analyzer is designed to capture wavefront sensor images at full frame rate. This is a high performance tool that cranks through image data at over 500 frames per second. Each frame is broken down into a grid of spots whose centers are calculated, then through a maze work of mathematical equations, turned into a wavefront shape. The correction for the wavefront data is estimated and fed to the tip tilt and deformable mirrors. Through a tapestry of hardware, software, electrical, and mechanical engineering talent, the University of Victoria has a very capable adaptive optics group with one goal, to produce a powerful adaptive optic system that is able to reduce the effects of turbulence. If successful, a multi-conjugate AO system could enhance the viewing capabilities for astronomers to peer ever deeper into space.